In this video, I actually wanted to cover some kind of less pressing news, but just kind of some old things that I managed to find while going through the GTA forums, and actually is a link to an ex-developer at Rockstar Games who used to be working on GTA 5. So I'm going to be going over some screenshots of some very early screenshots and beta pictures of the GTA 5 map, and we're going to compare really what it looks like as compared to today. It is completely different. I just thought some of these screenshots would be interesting to share. I'll of course leave a link to this guy's site down in the description below, his name is Jonathan Gwynn. But some of these screenshots are really interesting, so if you guys do end up enjoying the video, be sure to go and drop a like down below, as it really would help me out. Now let's go. So on this first screenshot here, we can actually see that because Jonathan Gwynn was in fact an environment artist at Rockstar Games in the very early stages of GTA 5, you can really just see how early of a version this map is and the massive changes that we've since seen even before it was released on the 360 in PS3. The first thing to note, even less related to the environment, is the map in the bottom left. This was still when they were planning on having the circular map, with the three different abilities listed around the edges of it. You can see how flat this kind of area looks, we can't really see any grass coming on top of it, and I know that even on the first gen that this was released on it wasn't, there wasn't tons of different grass and leaves like there is on the next versions, but still it does look very bare. You can see how kind of orangey everything looks here, you can see that the skybox and the lighting really has had a massive overhaul before the final release. This next one is just by the service station out on the east side of the map. Now this is another really interesting one as we do see some more grass here, of course the map is still the old style of the map, but we can see how few cars there were for a start, especially on the left side here. And we can see that everything just looks really dumbed down, the colours are very orangey, which I don't believe was actually included in the last release, everything was kind of upgraded since. You can see the tower there has some really weird textures to it, and everything just looks really barren. This next screenshot doesn't even look like Grand Theft Auto 5 at all. The lighting is completely different as it is to like the current release of it. It is completely different, really dark, the shadows are in a really strange kind of style, and it looks nothing like we now have in Grand Theft Auto 5. But you can see that the kind of hills all around here also didn't end up getting added in to the final release of the game. These have changed massively, we can see I believe what's going to be Mount Chiliad off in the distance right at the very back. But between there, there's now in the final release, they actually added in, I believe, a field of turbines, which I think will be located in this area. But you can see just how different this map looks, and it just looks, especially in this screenshot, very quite strange. In this next one, you can see how low the draw distance was. If you look, for example, at the power lines at the top of the image, you can see that within, like, maybe 50 meters or so, they just completely disappear. It looks really, really strange, but I'm really glad that it was ended up being changed for the release. This next screenshot actually looks very Red dead -esque. It has really the kind of the deserty feel to it. There's more sand than there is grass everywhere We've still got that kind of orangey yellowy hue to everything and the tree looks very much dead on the right side here And we can see kind of the railroad just tailing off onto the edge of the screen Which I don't believe is anywhere on the map now But like I said this thing does look very much like it was kind of the same art style as Red Dead Redemption Which is of course made by Rockstar Games as well here we go back to where we actually saw the first picture here, it's in the same kind of area. And again, we can see just how low resolution everything is. For example, if you look off in the distance in the top right at Mount Chiliad, everything just kind of looks really messy and blurred, which of course still was upgraded for the 360 and PS3. And finally, this is probably my favourite screenshot of all of them. We can see loads of different things here, for example, the mountains on the left side still look really blurry and faded, but we're actually over here at the new space. So the kind of map around here has already changed quite a bit, there's now like a little security booth at the bottom of the road, there's more security around the actual base itself, and you can see that kind of in the distance there's no mountains at all to the forward right side, there's really nothing Nothing at all after the actual base. You can see the wires have this really weird aliasing effect. The shadows also have a load of aliasing at the bottom of the screen, it's very strange. But something also very interesting is on the left side, the map has actually changed now to a new style, which looks a bit more like what we actually have in the final release of the game. I think they ended up combining the two styles of maps, this rectangular one with this style of actual ground behind it, but then the yellow, green and blue bars from the previous one on the actual circle, which is more like the GTA 4 map. And they ended up combining those to get the existing one that we know today. And that's pretty much it for all of the screenshots I have for you guys today. Be sure to go and check out Jonathan Gwynn's portfolio and kind of his CV down in the description below. He's a really talented guy, of course, having done so much work for Rockstar. But if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like down below as it really does help me out as always. Leave a comment telling me what you guys found the most interesting in these screenshots or any little changes that I managed to oversee. 
Just leave that in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more videos just like this coming very, very soon. And finally, follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description down below where I post more GTA 5 and just random content that doesn't go up on this channel. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.